was going on. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. <laughs> that heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on set and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux is on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. We managed to dig up more of them. We could wiretap the entire city. <laughs> All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. On oh, fuck. <laughs> Move, move. What our movement needs is more strong black women. You have to take it, please.
And my mama would be none too happy to hear about all my nights of drinking that shine. She always called it milk from the devil's teeth. <laughs> She was my first love, and I'll never forget that. Whatever. Areas off limits, get. You over here? <whistles> Gonna keep looking for you, boy. Again. <laughs> Congratulations. Like I need another goddamn brat to trip over. Told her to get on a goddamn pill. But she's too Catholic for that. You know what? You're better off doing like I do. Get off at the camp house. Fuck. Probably be cheaper. Of course, if Doreen found out, she'd cut my nuts right off. I didn't find shit.
lose here. You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall. Your ass is mine now. Dispatch out. How do you know? I, I can feel it, Alan. This is where they buried me. 200. <laughs>
How you doing? Is off limits. Get. Where's he taking that beast, Reggie? Five. You really think he slipped past me? Oh, I'm so 30, sorry. 35, 50. Deadline. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. Yeah, straight up. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes.
be with you. Because you heard Cassius Clay say You know Mr. Ali's right These crackers want us dead You just thinking about getting your peck away I'll shut your narrow ass up I know so I ain't gonna get me down Huh? Hey, nothing! Shot, y'all are screwed! ain't leaning in your favor. Ah. He killed another ah. one! <laughs> Was that you, asshole? Oh, you bunch of pansies! Keep looking for you, boy. We will find you, cocksucker. Believe that. Let's see what you got. Son of a bitch!
for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. <laughs> okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers.